Number five, then this is possibly the most important thing. So first of all, tongues for edification, tongues for praise, tongues for intercession, tongues for spiritual warfare. Number five, and this to me is the most powerful thing, tongues is for revelation. It's for revelation. So Paul says in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 15, I will pray with the Spirit, but I will pray with the understanding. That means praying in tongues naturally will give me understanding on what God wants to do in my life. Now remember, what is the real reason the Holy Spirit is given to you? The first thing the Holy Spirit does when He comes upon you is that your young men will see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. The Holy Spirit wants to show you visions and dreams. Alright? Well, on the day of Pentecost, what was the first thing the disciples did? They spoke in tongues. Tongues brings revelation. So every time when I begin to pray in tongues, and you know, let me say this. How does God speak to you? God doesn't usually send angels to deliver a message to you. God speaks to you through your thought. He gives you a word in your mind. And that is why you got to put on the mind of Christ. That is why after you get saved, you got to renew your mind. Because your mind got to become the seedbed or the, the, the place where God can show you visions and dreams. How do you know if what you're thinking is the will of God, is a vision from God, and it's not something you conjure up yourself? Well, you pray in tongues. Every time you pray in tongues, you're cleansing your mind from all the clutter of fear and doubt and cynicism and negative ideas. Every time you pray in tongues, your mind gets cleared of that and you open your mind for God to sow a vision, to sow a dream so that you know. So when I pray in tongues and all of a sudden I begin to see a picture, I begin to understand, all right, that's what God wants me to do. That's the thing that God, that's where God wants me to go. That's why, and, and people ask me, say, how, do, how do you come up with ideas on Emerge Convention? How do you come up with messages like a cultural mandate? How do you, how do you come up with, with stuff like Asia Conference? How do you know that you're supposed to do this in your strategy for Asia? How do you, how do you, I mean, how do you get all these ideas? I mean, thank God for all the counselors. Thank God for brainstorming. Thank God for great elders. And I have my board members here with me. Thank God for all that. But if our lives is just live on information, we'll be very limited. But when we live on revelation, Jesus says, I will then build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Give the Lord a big hand.